So what do character and virtue have to do with flourishing? And what do we even mean by virtue? And what does it actually have to do with our character? So kind of got some interesting words to sort of look at tonight, but they're all part of, I suppose, the framework for how we can flourish. So they are really important. Hi, I'm Marianne from One Life to Flourish and welcome to tonight's episode of Monday Motivation. Now, are you ready to start building a flourishing life? Because this is the focus of my current series, I suppose. And tonight in particular, I am focusing on character strengths and virtues. So first of all, if you know someone who might find this information really interesting, then please invite them over. Uh, just use the little arrow down below somewhere. Um, and also, if you are watching right now, just make sure that you are watching through One Life to Flourish because we are going through a few different places. I can only see your comments from this location. I'd love to see if you've got anything to comment about. Uh, so let's go back to our kind of topic tonight, which is a bit of a tricky one. So the first thing is, what are virtues? So it's a weird word. It's kind of an old-fashioned word. And basically what we mean are character traits that humans actually need to flourish, both as an individual and as part of a community. So they're valued by all communities. And because of that, psychologists are interested in studying um, what they're all about. Now, in particular, Martin Seligman and his team investigated and researched things about virtues over a number of years, just trying to see what, what the common thing, themes were. And they looked at all major religions around the world and all philosophical traditions covering like over 3,000 years of human history. And delving into all of this stuff, they actually found that there were six common virtues. And these are wisdom and knowledge, courage, humanity, justice, temperance and transcendence. So how does that fit with our strengths? So basically the research team needed to find something that was a little bit tangible to study about the virtues. So they discovered that there were actually strengths of characters um, that kind of um, were brought out by each of the virtues. And they kind of looked at which ones were really important. And they had sort of a set of criteria, you know, things like being valued in all different places across all different times, um, not being political and that kind of thing, being valued by cultures and also things that parents wanted to teach their children. So they're sort of some of the things that they looked at to decide if a particular character strength or even character trait was going to be important. And they kind of narrowed it down to 24 of them. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of what it's about, so wisdom and knowledge, the character strengths there are all around how we acquire and use knowledge. So it's about being curious, being creative, and just kind of getting perspective and wisdom on how things are going. The next one, courage, the character strengths are all around accomplishing goals in the face of some kind of opposition. Humanity is about the strengths that are around caring and being friendly, befriending other people. And it's around also respect, appreciation, and kindness. Justice is around building a healthy and stable community. And then temperance, as the name kind of hints at, this is character traits that focus on protecting against excess or actions that are out of balance. And then the last one, transcendence, these character traits are around how we actually connect to like the larger universe, universe, the big picture kind of thing, and gain meaning through this. So 
these are all part of flourishing, but why go to the trouble of all this research and developing all of these different things? Well, what they've found is that if you know what your character strengths are and you use them, then you actually have an improvement in your overall life and an increase in your emotional well-being. So you can actually find out what your um, character strengths are by doing a VIA strengths test, which is free. And originally, finding out your top five were the things that you focused on and you kind of worked on developing them. But more recently, research has found that it's actually helpful to look at some of the strengths that are kind of in the middle that you get from doing the, the, um, the test and actually working on them a little bit as well. So after you know what your strength, strengths are, it's kind of recommended that you try and find ways to use them at work and at home. And in the workplace, it's been found that if you actually find ways to incorporate some of your strengths or practice some of the other ones in your job, your level of job satisfaction improves along with some other benefits as well. And it can be quite easy to do. So let me give you a bit of an example. One of my top strengths is my love of learning. So every day I spend around about 10 minutes or more reading or listening to books about new topics or expanding on topics that I already know about. And by doing this, I'm actually developing that particular character strength and it kind of gives me, you know, just a nice feeling. So if you do nothing else, I would actually recommend that you work on finding out your strengths, just being aware of them and see how you're using them and think about ways that you can bring it into your life even more. Now, speaking about character strengths, tonight I am really quite excited because I've just finished advancing myself with some more learning. I've actually advanced my hypnotherapy and e-hypnotherapy skills. I've learned lots of new techniques that are great for working online. And I'm really excited that I'm now going to be able to incorporate them into some new services to help people out there. So if you are someone who struggles to get a good night's sleep and you just really long to wake up feeling well rested and ready for anything that could happen during the day instead of kind of feeling worn out and irritable then I would love to work with you. Now in fact I am giving away because I'm so excited to two lucky people my new Sleep Soundly program that will help you achieve these things. It's worth around $500 but two people will get it for free. So if you are someone who really has a need in this area and you are interested, please send me a message or comment and I will get in contact with you and put you into the competition. And we'll see how you go. So thank you for joining me tonight for another episode of Monday Motivation. Now, next week, I'm actually going to be looking at social relationships, things around how we get on with other people and how that can help us to flourish. So please join me then. And hopefully you've got a little bit of inspiration, something that you can work on during this week just to try and head towards a more flourishing life. So thank you once again for joining me and have a really great week. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. So bye for now.